Hey everybody, so I just wanted to get on and do a follow-up video to my previous video that was a tutorial on how to make the Aroma Bead Car Freshies. So I have just started doing these and I've watched a few tutorials. Not all of them give a lot of details. Um, so I just wanted to come on and share some of the things that I ran into along the way that maybe are questions that you might be having or just things you could know beforehand so that you run in, you don't run into the same issues that I did. All right, so let's start with um, cooling times. So in my previous video, I said 20 minutes, 20 minutes ish, and that was fine. They came off the cookie sheet, they came out of the cookie cutters. It took a bit of effort. So I took one of my batches out of the oven and I kind of forgot about it. It got left there for quite some time and they were very cool. Cool to the touch, cookie cutters were cool. And when I went to pull them off of the cookie sheet, I started by trying to pick the cookie cutter up off and pop it off of the cookie sheet. And what happened was the cookie cutter just came right off. Like it, it had completely separated. Um, and they were much easier to get off of the cookie sheet. So I just wanted to add a little bit of a, you know, a revision that the longer you let them cool, the easier they'll be to get out of the cookie cutters and off of the cookie sheet. Um, one of the things that I did run into was I broke one of the cookie cutters, probably because I wasn't letting them cool long enough. And I am a little hasty and impatient, so I'm not surprised. This cookie cutter, although was a little bit loose when I first got it, I could tell that it wasn't, um, you know, connected quite as well as the other ones, but still had I let them cool longer, this probably would not have happened. Luckily, I just kind of put it back underneath there and it works fine. It still does its job, but you know, just so that you guys don't run into the same issue, let them cool 40 minutes even. Um, until they are completely cool to the touch and they'll separate on their own. Next, so I was doing mine at 350 for eight minutes and they would be glossy and melted on the top and they appeared done, but I noticed that sometimes I would take a nail and I would just kind of push it in just to make sure that it was all melted and, and finished. And I noticed with a few of them, especially the ones with a lot of area in the middle, um, of course, not around like these small ears and things because the heat gets through there and melts it really well all the way through. But with the center parts, I would notice I would take the nail and it would stick to the nail a little bit and the top layer would almost puff up. It would almost separate. And I thought, well, that shouldn't be a big deal. You know, as long as the top is completely melted together, it'll stay together and I don't need to worry if the middle isn't completely melted. Um, I was wrong. If you can see, the top separated and I actually had some dry beads falling out. As you can see, it's just crumbling and falling apart. So I um, am now doing them at 350 for 10 minutes and that has fixed the problem. But if you're just getting started with these, always do a test. Like I said, I just take one of my nails and I just kind of pop it and it'll stick to the nail a little bit. And if it puffs up at all, just go ahead and leave them in there for another minute or two, but keep an eye on them. And third, different oils and curing times. So most everything I saw said one to three days to for your beads to fully absorb and dry. So this is how they should look when they're fully absorbed and ready to go. They're completely loose. They're almost as if you never added oil to them straight out of the bag. That's how they should look. These I did the same time I did these. Now, this is a Diva by Tyler Candle Company fragrance. These, after 24 hours, were completely done. I did these about three days ago. Same with these, three days ago. But it's almost as if they haven't soaked up any of the fragrance yet. So I've already done a batch of this fragrance. This is leather. I had already heard that leather takes longer and they weren't kidding. I have done previous batches with the leather. It's the same beads as these. Uh, fragrance oil bought from the same company. And the leather took a solid two weeks. It took two weeks for my leather beads 
to be ready to bake. So just forewarn, um, I saw a lot of things when I was, I was looking up ways to expedite the process, get them to dry faster. Uh, a couple of things said, if your beads aren't curing, add more beads. I did this with a couple of my jars just to test, test them, thinking maybe I put too much fragrance oil in them, or even though I put the same exact amount of fragrance oil in these. Um, I just wanted to make sure different fragrances act differently. So I added a few more like tablespoons of beads to each of my jars. That was unnecessary. They didn't cure any faster than the other jars that I had done at the same time that I didn't add any additional beads to. Um, it just takes longer. I've also heard that vanilla can do this. Vanilla can take a really long time to cure. So heads up on that. Um, don't expect your, your leather beads to be ready in the same amount of time and just know ahead of time it's going to take longer. You're going to need more time to get those finished. Lastly, I want to talk, uh, my last video, I think I added, I think I had a cup and a half of beads in each jar and I only put an ounce of, or not an ounce, excuse me, um, one and a half cups of beads to one, yes, one ounce. So that would be two tablespoons of fragrance oil. Those did fine. The fragrance lasted. Um, I still have one in my car. I can still smell it. But I have decided, and I think this is the better route. They smell stronger. They'll last longer. I do one tablespoon of fragrance oil to every half cup of beads. So whereas I was putting in two tablespoons to uh, a cup and a half, I'm now putting three tablespoons into a cup, of, cup and a half of beads. So, um, now every fragrance is different. I had a fragrance in my first batch that was very, very strong, um, super strong. And I could tell that right out of the bottle. I, I mean, as soon as I opened it and it overpowered everything, I was working on all of my, that's the only fragrance I could smell. It overpowered everything. Now that one, if I were to do that fragrance again, I would probably still keep it at two tablespoons, but you'll be able to tell any of the lighter fragrances. I think you're good with getting away with a tablespoon per half cup. With these stronger ones, you can probably do a little less than that, but that's that's something more that you can play around with. So, so far, those are the major issues or kind of bumps in the road or things that I've learned so far in this journey of making these car freshies. Um, next video that I plan on doing um, is on the third batch I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try some new things, see what happens, see if I can get them to work, and I hope they turn out well, so stay tuned for that video. Thanks.